Let me get you. Okay. Mr. Baker, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Um, this is a public hearing. Notice was given in compliance with Chapter 22 of the Wicomico County Code and the local government article, Section 10-312, that the County Council would hear comments uh, this evening at 630 on a proposal to lease to Callaway Brothers all that tract or parcel of land situated in the Hubbard Election District containing 100 acres of tillable land, uh, 50 irrigated and 50 non-irrigated, uh, on the northerly and northeasterly side of the Levin to Shield Road uh, in what is known as the West Metro Corps Park. Uh, it was offered for bid. The Callaways were the high bidder uh, and have offered an annual rental rate of $22,200 uh, beginning April the 1st, 2015 and ending December 31st, 2015. Uh, this is Resolution 57-2015 uh, for introduction and then public hearing. Thank you very much. Uh, at this time, I would like to uh, open up the public hearing to anyone that would like to speak on this uh, resolution. Okay. Seeing none, I would like to entertain a motion to approve resolution 57 2015. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. Discussion. I believe we have uh, Deputy Director Andy Whisk here today, tonight. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. I just want to put on the narrative in our agenda. It said uh, 22,000, but it is 22,200. So actually what it looks like in the It is. There's, there's a typo. It's also 50 acres irrigated, 59 irrigated, not 52. So. Okay. Okay. If you could just give us an overview. Also, I noticed also in the lease agreement, it says 200. Lease agreement. Uh, $222 per acre. Right. Which there's 100 acres, so it's uh, 22,200 dollars total. But it, it says just 200 dollars. Oh, okay. So I think maybe they should. When they, it's an official document. Um, I would assume it needs to be amended. We will say 222. Oh, I see the written now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where it's written. Okay. Yeah. Hey, the, what's in parentheses is correct. We'll address it before it's signed. Uh, thank you. And if you could just give us an overview, Andy, of what's, uh, what's, what we're doing. Yeah, this is the um, 100 acres of property that the county owns off 11 to Shield Road, uh, which is the West Metro Corps Park parcel. Um, we, we leased that farmland, and um, it was due for um, a, a rebid. The Callaway brothers were our high bidder, and, um, and actually they, um, they farmed that property before. They've done well with it. They've met all the, the criteria and responsibilities that we ask, and we're seeking approval to um, to issue this lease to them again. Yeah. Any questions from council? Um, how much farmland does Wicomico County lease? There, there are, um, there's a parcel at Pemberton Park, a parcel at uh, Pirate's Wharf, um, a very small parcel that's included in a hunting lease at Winter Place, and then this parcel at, um, West Metro Core. I'd have to look up to get you the exact number of acres. I mean, is there any reason the county owns this land? I well, mean, the um, the West each one has a each one has a different a different story. Um, okay. This one in particular is is um, uh, proposed to become a, a park ser serving the citizens in your district on the uh, on the west side, uh, the West Metro Core area, and it's um, I believe it was in the capital improvement plan for out years four and five. Uh, currently for development. Andy, uh, this property has been leased before and uh, at this same rate? Uh, this this rate's a little bit lower. We um, uh, the, the previous leases were in conjunction with a adjacent property owner. And what we had there was 200 acres to lease rather than just our 100. So that got us a little bit better price power. Um, but that, that owner has, uh, has since sold his property or is in the process of selling his property. So we have to go it alone on, on this lease. Um, and with that, we lost 50 acres of, of irrigation. Um, the, the actual decline in the, in, the, in the revenue wasn't as high as we expected. Um, we, were, we were expecting perhaps as much as uh, uh, $50 an acre or more, and it was only about $30 that it, it, it declined with the loss of that irrigation. So, Thank you. The history of that at one time, uh, we um, garnered a lot more revenue because it was rented to a potato farmer. Yes. And for whatever yes. reason, we lost that lease. Yes. You know, so. Yeah, and, and Mr. Holloway, we did reach out to uh, the, the, the um, company was Black, Go Black Gold. Mm -hmm. We did reach out to them again this year, and, uh, and they declined, so. 
we'd love to have them back. Yeah. It was a very was there a favorable they lease. Find um, they they had um, uh, all the property that they needed is what is what we were told. That they they weren't looking to yeah. expand any currently. Any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Whisk. Yep. Thank you. Uh, any other council comments or questions? Seeing none. All those in favor of um, resolution 57 2015 say aye. 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 Opposed? Motions carried. Resolution passed. Thank, Thank you. you very much. The next item is another public hearing. A notice was given in conformity with section 311D of the Charter of Wicomico County uh, on a bill which was introduced uh, at a legislative session uh, the bills will be called for final reading and consideration at, immediately after the public hearing it's on legislative bill 2015-01 an act to amend chapter 59 article 2 to add section 59-15 of the Wicomico County code entitled accidental disability to provide a benefit to certain employees who incur a permanent disabling medical condition arising out of and in the course of the actual performance of duty subject to certain qualifying standards. Um, as I indicated uh, when the bill was introduced, uh, the IRS code requires uh, an ordinance or legislation uh, of this type uh, indicating that uh, it's going to be paid, benefits will be paid in a certain fashion in order to qualify for tax exempt treatment. Uh, and this is related to the uh, Fraternal Order of the Police Disability Trust. Thank you, Mr. Baker. At this time, I uh, open the floor to a public hearing. Anybody that would like to make comments on this particular bill, please uh, go to the podium. Okay. Seeing none, that closes the public hearing. Entertain a motion to adopt Legislative Bill 2015-01. So moved. Second. Second. Council discussion. Any questions? <coughs> Seeing none, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Legislative Bill 2015-01 passes. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you very much, Mr. Baker. At this time, we would open the floor to public comments in general. Anybody would have <laughs> like to make any comment, uh, please come to the podium if you would. State your name, and uh, we certainly will uh, be anxious to hear what you have to say. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Bob Culver, County Executive. I want to take just a minute. There was an article about a week ago in the paper, and there's a lot of people here from West Salisbury now, and I want to make sure I address this, and that is that there was a quote made from Dr. Lever, the state IAC, in regards to the unsafe fire conditions at West Salisbury. Today, it was inspected by the state fire marshal, Mr. Flanagan, and was shown to be completely safe, met all codes, met all requirements, and I would just like to make sure that the people in PAC 14 know as well as the, those people in the audience that um, it is a safe school. I'm not saying that we still don't have problems, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's one of those things that it is a safe school and I want to make sure that everybody knows we will do our best to keep it that way. Mr. Calvert, yeah. was that inspection done in, um, because Mr. Flanagan seen the article? Or, um, yes, it was done because they were seem to be a little bit upset, Mr. Flanagan, the state fire marshal, as well as our local fire marshal here. Uh, Mr. Wright contacted the state fire marshal because uh, schools are governed by the state fire marshal and not our Wicomico County fire marshal. So um, we're, we're very happy that it was taken care of, and I want to make sure that, that all the residents and Ms. Wright, you all know that it is safe. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Executive. Any other public comments? Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. President and council, county council members and to uh, the clergy and to all the people who are assembled here. Tonight. I'm Bishop George A. Copeland, and I'm here tonight uh, speaking on behalf of the watchmen with one voice as we standing to support that there be a new school built on West Side, West Salisbury Elementary. And I'd like to just speak briefly about that. We've had a chance to visit the school, and uh, certainly it needs to be, we believe it needs to be changed. Uh, as I was entering tonight and was standing, uh, everybody was standing, and uh, we opened with the Lord's Prayer. So that tells me that I stand tonight in front of men who believe that God is sovereign. And understanding that, 
I, I just want to say to us that uh, Jesus said, in Matthew's the fifth chapter and the 25th verse, what you do to the least of these little ones, you've done it unto me. And so I, I'm concerned that we want to really remember the children because uh, the children will not always be children. And Jesus said, train them up in the way they'll go, and when they're old, they will not depart. And so I believe that we give them the proper tools and do the right things for the children. Uh, we will eliminate filling up Naylor Mill over there on uh, Naylor Mill Road, and we'll be able to fill more universities and colleges, and also our young people will be able to uh, continue to carry on uh, for the citizens of this country and of this town as we gentlemen are doing because one day we all gonna leave here and somebody else got to take our place. But if we don't equip them to take our place, we're gonna leave this great nation, this world in a mess that uh, will be unbelievable. And since we are believers, as I heard us when we were opening with the prayer, we said our Father, which meaning that we're all related. Our Father, it means we all are kin. And so since we're family, family has a way of looking out for family. And so I believe that we ought to uh, put that school back on the docket, do what we need to do, that West Salisbury Elementary will have a good school uh, just as the other areas have. Uh, we don't want this particular town of ours and, uh, and the United States to look like we're a third world country because of the way things are looking and the way we're doing business. And I call on you, gentlemen, because I believe you're believers, because you're open. If you hadn't opened with the Lord's Prayer, I could say, well, maybe we're in a heathenistic country. But because we opened with the Lord's Prayer, it said to me, you believe God. And since you believe God, I believe we'll do what's right. Because Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, ask, and it shall be given. Seek and you'll find. Knock, and the door will open. We're knocking. We're seeking. And we believe. And then Jesus ended, he said, what man among you, that if his son asks for a fish, will you give him a snake? If he asks for a stone, if he asks for bread, would you give him a stone? And Jesus said they have evil men, men that have no God in their life, know how to good gift thing, good, give good things to their children. How much more shall our Heavenly Father give us? And I believe, gentlemen, you're going to help us, and you're going to make it happen on the west side. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Any other public comments? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> you, you get to follow that. <laughs> uh, my name is Jackie Brown Thomas, and I've been coming to some of the council meetings. And I don't know if you answer questions, but I have questions to ask. And uh, it was dealing with March the 12th, and a gentleman named John Parker, and I read in the independent newspaper, said that West Salisbury should not be built because he was on uh, Mr. Carver's task team. So I want to know, when they went to visit the school, did they go to the school when it was in operation, or did they go when it was empty, where they couldn't see what was going on inside the school, how crowded, how destitute, and how the kids and the staff are dealing with problems in the school. And I want to know that if anybody can answer. I can help you with as a clarification. It was uh, it was on a weekend. Okay, so they really didn't get to see the real operation, right? Correct. So they made they making Mr. Palmer's making a suggestion on an empty school, right? It was an empty school when we visited. Yeah, it was empty. Okay. Yes. Okay, on March the 17th, I came up here on, on your 10 o'clock meeting, and he made a good suggestion. He said, y'all should allow people to vote on whether West Salisbury need to be uh, rebuilt. Okay, as of March the 12th, Mr. Palmer said that <coughs> the majority of the people have voted, which is not correct. 
uh, a lot of people didn't vote in November, but I guarantee you, if you put that on the ballot, people will come out and vote for West Salisbury to be rebuilt, not patched up. And then Mr. Carver and his advisor, <coughs> when they were talking about on March the 17th, about if we rebuilt the school, they would have to uh, build an alternative school. My thing is, why would you build an alternative school when you got all the portables? You should let the kids that are misbehaving stay in the portables and the kids that are trying to learn be in comfort. I mean, I, have a, I feel some kind of way about that because there's kids in that school that are learning. And there's kids that not trying to learn is in our condition, having the best of everything. And the kids are not in that school. And my last thing is, Ms. Ashante asked the question about the Shorebird Stadium. Well, I have three questions. How much does the Shore, Shorebirds bring in to this county? And how much would it cost to remodel the Shorebird um, Stadium? And what is the purpose? of building a stadium over a school. I mean, I'm just asking questions. So I don't know because I've been to the meetings and I'm not coming up here to ask y'all and beg y'all to do what's right. You know what's right. I mean, you really do. And we shouldn't have to come up here meeting after meeting to ask y'all to do what's right. I mean, I know there's obstacles or the fourth question. Where are you going to get the money to remodel the show birds if you can't even build the school? Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, my name is John Palmer, and I'm the person, I'm surprised at everything that you said because uh, most of it I didn't say. It might have been put down in the newspaper, but it is not what I said. And I'm willing to go over any part of the inspection of that school with anybody at any time. The purpose of us going over there was to perform a material inspection of the building. It was not to do an evaluation of instruction or the way that the teachers run their class. So, uh, and I do agree with you. I believe we should have the schools and uh, put before the people and let the people vote on what they want and what they don't want. And that'll be the end of that. So when that time comes around and they run a petition, I know where to get you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Palmer. Any other uh, comments? Seeing none, I would like to say I'm very pleased to see people paying so close attention to the council meetings. It's important to us as well. Uh, council comments. You can't be speechless. <laughs> Let's start at this end. Uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. It certainly is a pleasure to see you here uh, representing the community. And uh, when you are here, we do take notice. Uh, in the past couple of weeks, I did attend the uh, Teacher of the Year Banquet, and it uh, truly is a highlight and, and a worthy thing in our community, and uh, we can thank the Board of Education for that and for promoting that. Uh, also, uh, I attended Plow Days, uh, and Joe Holloway and the County Executive were there also, and I'll let Joe tell you about that when it gets to be his turn. Thank you. Thank you. Council McKill. Um, I, too, want to say thank you to everybody who turned out. It's great to see a, a packed room, a standing room only. It's, it's very nice. Um, and I also want to, say, I want to say congratulations to the uh, Teachers of the Year. It's uh, great that uh, you're doing such a, a good job, and I appreciate the opportunity to recognize them. Uh, I also would like to say uh, congratulations to the Somerset County Teacher of the Year, 
uh, to Melody Power. She teaches in Somerset, but she's actually a Wicomico County resident. She lives over the line in Allen, so uh, Allen being in District 2 and, uh, and Melody being a family friend. Uh, I know that we, it, it's improper for us to recognize the Somerset uh, Teacher of the Year with a proclamation, but uh, congratulations to the Wicomico <coughs> County resident who won that in Somerset County. So, thank you. Thank you. You good? Hey. Councilman Doug. It's, um, thank you, everyone, for showing up. It's good to see um, a packed house again. I like seeing people standing outside there. I know they're not comfortable, but at least they're attending and paying attention. So it's great to see everybody here, a lot of county employees, a lot of taxpayers. Um, I also want to thank the Teacher of the Year. Um, it's great that we get to offer them a proclamation and recognize the good work that they do. Teachers are really one of our greatest assets, especially if you have kids in the school system. Um, Wicomico County Parks and Rec has a lot going on, a lot of sports going on. Um, Pork in the Park is coming back as April 24th, the 25th, I believe. Big event, you should attend that. Um, I, it's good to see that we're not losing that event because it is one of our good spring events. Um, a lot of baseball going on in the area, Little League Baseball. A lot of kids are getting ready for baseball. This Saturday's opening day, my district, Fruitland Little League has their opening day ceremonies uh, starting at 8.45 in the morning with a parade. And then it'll end up at the uh, ball field down in Fruitland. Um, they're gonna have games all day, so um, stop by one of your local little leagues and watch the little kids play. It's really exciting. So thank you again for showing yeah, up. Thank you, thank you Councilman Doug. Councilman Davis. I'd like to thank all of you for showing up. I keep hearing people saying about letting the People vote for the school system. I think that happens in Delaware, where they vote to do pay raise tax increases. I don't think Maryland, it's not here in Maryland, so I don't think you'll see us voting, have the people voting for the schools. We have a totally different system that we have to go through. It might be long and drawn out, but I think that's the only system we have. So I think we, if we take our time and be patient, it should materialize over a period of time. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Davis. <coughs> Out of the Holloways? Okay. <laughs> Under uh, presidential comments, I, I would um, also reiterate what was said earlier that I'm very pleased to see everybody here tonight. I mean, it is our responsibility to listen to the public and to know what the public's concerns are. We have to weigh that. You know, we have to balance that. It's a fine balance between what the public wants and what the county knows it can afford. But I, I do see it as a high priority. I know the executive sees it as a high priority. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of how we, how we get there. So if you can be patient with us, we do have the process that we need to go through. But uh, you are certainly keeping it at top of the mind awareness, and I appreciate your, your diligence. Um, I would also like to, if I could, just make a couple of comments on some events. I know that the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office, uh, they are having a you drive, you text, you pay. Uh, this is going to be uh, held uh, from April 10th to April 15th. So that means they are doubling up on enforcement so that if you're texting and you're driving, you certainly will get pulled over. Keep this, is, this isn't really a warning. I'm not trying to uh, subvert the Sheriff's Department. I'm just making everyone aware of their efforts. Public awareness. Public awareness. Thank you. Uh, Wicomico County Library is having a Light of Literacy Awards on uh, April 9th at 8 a.m. at the Civic Center. Uh, the Maryland Young Farmer Advisory Board are seeking nominations to fill one vacancy. Uh, this is a group and the board members, uh, they address legislative and policy issues that affect Maryland young farmers. This is important and this should be important in Wicomico County. So if there are any young farmers out there that like to get involved, you can contact Jess Jessica Armacost. Um, I'll give you the number, it's on here. It's 543-883-0217. All forms must be received by April 24th. In addition, uh, a couple more items. The Wacomico County Board of Education Awards and Recognition Night for 2014-15 will be Tuesday, May 5th in the Wacomico High School Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. And I must say that some of us will be at a county council meeting. You have to just decide which do you think is going to be more entertainment value. <laughs> The Offshore Band honorees will participate in the Offshore Band April 10th to 11th at Easton High School. There will be a concert at 7 on April 11th. So that's also uh, an event to attend. And finally, the county executive will be having his uh, budget hearing April 9th. It will be in the Flanders Room at Wicomico uh, Civic Center at 6 p.m. 
that's everything I have tonight. Um, again, I'd like to thank everybody at, uh, for attending. Entertain a motion to adjourn so that we can go to an open work session followed by a closed work session, in which time we will reconvene in legislative session. So moved. Second. 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 Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Meetings adjourned. Thank you very much.